Oh, we're rolling. We're rolling. All right, we're rolling. All right, Matt Gershader here with Concierge Q. We are here at the Modern Hotel for the Sun Valley Film Festival launch party. And I'm here with Teddy Grennan, Dana Plassey. Katrine McCracker. Here we are with Marcus Eaton, Heather Ray. I'm standing with Mike Kaplan. What's your name? Laura Melha. Greg Green. And Greg Green, that's right. Uh, Greg, how's the weather up there? Yeah, you know, I should probably do this, right? <laughs> <laughs> Marcus is a uh, fantastic musician. We produced a motion picture uh, just recently, and it's been submitted to the Sun Valley Film Festival. It's called Three of a Kind. Recording with David Crosby right now, working on an album with him. Heather Ray has produced Magic Valley, an Idaho film. One of the films that I produce is called The Whales of August, which is celebrating its 25th anniversary this year. I was a co-producer both on Magic Valley, which will be there, and also Brooklyn Brothers Beat the Best. Oh. And the very first time we showed the Whales of August was in Sun Valley. Get out. It was. Teddy, you are the executive director of the film festival. And uh, what's kind of the expectations for this uh, event up in Sun Valley? A base hit. A base hit. What does that mean? Just want to get on base with major leagues, uh -huh. but a base hit. We got a lot of Idaho filmmakers, and the future of this festival depends on everyone's support over the state. The film has been in Rome. Dubai, Stockholm, Warsaw, Sofia, Bulgaria, like all over the world, wow. but it has not yet shown in Idaho. So this is really like the Idaho premiere. There's a massive adoration for film in Sun Valley and we've been able to find people to help us out. It's been great. I was in Utah when the Sundance Film Festival started and I can kind of see the roots of that growing, so I support anything that's been done uh, in yeah, Idaho. Yeah. Yeah. Now as far as Idaho, um, the expansiveness of it, what, what, what comes to, the question that comes to mind is, what film inspired you to travel? But I did watch Dr. Zhivago and decide I didn't want to go to Russia in winter. Alive, that's the one. You know when Alive. They, they crash in the Andes? Right. That's the one. No, actually, I'd have to think about that. The Double Life of Veronique, a film made by Karaslavsky. Well, I'm definitely a lover of the road movie genre. Indiana Jones, you know, that's a good travel oh, movie. Oh, yeah, classic. I went to college in the 70s, uh -huh. and all the film students were on acid, so they couldn't right. figure out how to produce their movies. And really an appreciator of films from the 70s. Uh -huh. So I, I'm a Virgo. And so he said, listen, so I said, this is how you do it. <laughs> so acid inspired right. me right. to get into the film industry. Right. Probably the biggest inspiration to me about travel is I went to the film school at American University and one of the first things I learned was um, a very famous filmmaker named Digzog Vertov. One of the first filmmakers said, film brings the world to the people. Power of film, if you can't get someplace, it can come to you. All right, we want to thank everyone for coming out, for tuning in, for checking out the Concierge Q magazine, You Are Here Travel. We are at the Modern in Boise, Idaho, and uh, this is the kickoff party for the Sun Valley Film Festival happening in March 2012. I'm going to go uh, sip some of these cocktails and mingle with the people. Thank you very much. Stay tuned. Yeah.